This clip was shot with an Osmo Pocket 3 and I'm going to show you how you can use a Sony S-Log3 LUT to colour grade it. First of all, come up to your file menu, come down and choose project settings and then come over to the colour management section. You want to make sure your colour science is set to DaVinci YRGB, your timeline colour space is set to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate and your output colour space is Rec 709 2.4. Now switch over to the color tab and we can get to work. What I'm going to do is open up the LUTs viewer here and I'm going to choose one of these LUTs and these LUTs require S-Log3, s gamut 3 Cine. So I'm just going to drag this Blockbuster V2 LUT from Alastair Chapman over to this node to apply the LUT. And you can see that this looks pretty terrible. The reason for that is that the incoming video file, if I come over to the media page, was shot in Rec 2100 HLG color space. So what we need to do in the color page here, before we apply this LUT, we need to convert the incoming video file to whatever this LUT expects. I'm gonna right click, choose add node, add serial before. And in this first node, we're gonna convert whatever the video file is into whatever this LUT expects. To do that, I'm gonna open up the effects and I'm gonna drag on this color space transform effect to this first node. And if we click on it, we now need to set these options. We know that the incoming video clip in this case was shot using Rec 2100 and in this case, it's a Rec 2100 HLG file. This could be Canon C-Log or Panasonic V-Log or any of the other supported options here. Because this second node is using a LUT that expects S-Log3, we need to change the output color to be Sony s gamut 3 Cine and Sony S-Log3. Once I click on this, watch what happens. The image changes, and even though it's a bit bright, it's starting to look a lot more normal. It's in between these two nodes that you can then apply any extra color grading that you want. So I'm gonna click on this first node and use Alt-S on the keyboard to add a node after it, and we can continue to add nodes if we want to, as long as we add them between these two outside nodes. So in this first node, we might want to work with the exposure a bit, and in the second node, we might want to work with the contrast a bit, and in this third node, we could work with the color a bit and get the look we want. Once we've got this set up, we can go and replace this LUT with any other LUT that works with S-Log3 and outputs Rec 709. So for example, let's try this Technicolor LUT. We need to add it to the final node and then make some tweaks to our own color grading to get the look we want. If you wanted to use a LUT here that expected, for example, Canon C-Log, You'd have to open up this first node and change the output color space to something like Canon Cinema Gamut, Canon Log3. Of course, in this case, this LUT expects S-Log3, so it's not going to do a very good job. There's so much to learn when it comes to DaVinci Resolve that I made an entire playlist for you, so grab yourself a drink, settle down, and click this playlist next to learn even more. I'm Jason Roberts. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.